Okay, in this video, what I want to show you is how to populate some of the uh, additional uh, smart phrases that weren't shown in the eval and the daily note. So the nomenclature is the same. So dot me post up. You can see all the different uh, options here. So some that may be most pertinent for you. So if you just want the precautions, you just uh, click on the precautions smart list, and that it will only return that. Say you want just the outcomes, specifically the ones that you'll be taking every three weeks. So then you just click on the outcomes one. And that will just return the pain, the swelling, the knee range of motion. However, every 12 weeks, what we'll be doing is we'll be taking the other outcomes, such as the Y balance test. And again, you could just populate this within your note. So it would be uh, knee post up. Say it's the 12th visit and I've already taken my normal outcomes. I do YBT, then I hit dot knee post up. Isokinetic. And maybe I'm also doing the jump vertical jump on that day so then all I'm doing is hitting dot TDN dot visit it's the sec or I say it's the 12th and I and so on and so forth the reason why I haven't populated them all in a, a single uh, smart phrase is from the instance that you may not be taking these all on the same day like it would be very difficult for you or it'd be difficult for me at least to get through the Y balance the isokinetic and the drop vertical jump all in one day I may see the patient twice in that given week or uh, in a separate week um, to capture this around the, uh, the 12th visit or the 12 weeks post-op. Uh, but you can, again, you can just F2, hit .tdn, it gives you the date, and then you can just F2 through what you otherwise uh, want to input, uh, right or left, uh, so on and so forth. delete that okay so the other two that I've also populated are maybe you want to put it in your note but more likely it's going to be due to uh, patient communication so I'm just gonna accept what we've done here and then I'm in the wrap-up tab and under the wrap-up tab you could send the patient a direct message or what I'm actually gonna do is gonna hit patient instructions which will give them their after visit summary so I'm just going to hit F3, and that's going to blow it up into a very similar window. And say we uh, discussed at length this visit about the knee overpressure program. So I'm going to go knee post-op, and I'm going to put post-op range of motion overpressure. All right, and it will, get, it will lay out the different phases for both knee extension and knee flexion. Okay, maybe I want to, I presented in clinic their handout for their post-op weekly schedule. And then so, if I just move this over so you can actually read it. So it would be post-op phase one, and it would give them their weekly schedule. So this could be populated again in the after visit summary as I'm showing here. It could also be populated in the message section. So if I go here, send patient message, and then I could again say PT follow up uh, dot knee post op uh, and say it's phase two, but uh, I haven't populated that one yet. But phase one, boom. And then just to see what it looks like, I'd blow it up, and this would be the message that they would get. Uh, I'm sorry, this populates just the phase, uh, I populated the wrong one, but that would be the phase one, but if you wanted the actual schedule. So phase one returns uh, what is the phase one for you as the clinician. The schedule one populates that for the patient. And there you go. And then I'll 
additionally add in the other the subsequent phases as well.